Hello there, welcome back to another video by Dutch Paper Girl. Last time I made this Westminster Abbey a pop-up. In, <coughs> oh. <laughs> In my video about the uh, Westminster Abbey pop-up, I said I didn't cut it by hand, but I used Silhouette Studio. And there were a couple of people who wanted to know, well, how exactly did you do that? In this video, I will show you. Uh, I used Silhouette Studio software, of course, but I used this one as well, GIMP. And GIMP is a program you can download for free. It's a Dutch program, but you can download it in English as well. And uh, you can do all kinds of things with your images. And I thought and found out it is very nice you can do that, because otherwise it will be a big mess in silhouette. So, let's start. Um, this is one of the images of the Westminster Abbey. And when you look at it like this, well, it kind of looks alright. But when you zoom in, I used control and I scroll, you can see it's not completely black and white. There are grey dots around. That's not very nice, so that's something we've got to fix. My program GIMP is in Dutch, but if you have an English one, you go to Colors and Threshold. And you get something like this. Oh, did you see that? It automatically removed all the grey dots. If you're not satisfied, you can use this one, but it did it automatically. Okay. So that's step one. It's black and white. You see? Now you could say, well, that looks perfect. I'm going to import that in Silhouette Studio. But there's a tricky thing with a computer. If you print this on paper and you would have to cut it by hand, you would say, oh, there's the line, and just cut over it. But a computer sees an in and an outside of this line. And that's not very handy, because when you import this in Silhouette, you would have to remove all kinds of lines. I didn't want to do that, so this is my solution. I go to the bucket, and I paint it all these forms. So this will be cut at the maximum size. You see? Do that with all the forms. Zoom out for a minute. That's the wrong one. Control C or undo bucket. Like this. You don't want that. So select. Del. There it is. Gone. You see? You can remove that. So, this is what I do in Kimp. With the colors, I go to the th threshold, make it a pure black and white. And with the bucket, thank you, with the bucket, I fill in these holes. I go to the silhouette software and import that picture. There we are in silhouette. I opened it by file, open, and there it is. I, on purpose for this tutorial, I did not color in all those forms here and here. So you can see later on what will be the problem if you don't. 
So there it is, and now we have to let the computer know where to make the cutting lines. So go to Object, Trace, select Tracing Area, there we are, High Pass, Off, and now you can see it can, oh, it's pretty good. Let's zoom in. And move the threshold. And now you can see here that those lines aren't going to be any good. This is much better. So I made it black and I can use that. Hmm. Think about here. Trace. I did the top one. And when I put that aside, not too far, you can see that is beautifully traced. <laughs> and this is a big mess. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, I've made a lot of other videos, so please do visit my channel. And if you liked it, do like, subscribe and share. Bye!